Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 8th through the 14th, but do you know, timing is fluid. This could happen now, later, whenever. This is just the message I'm picking up on right now for you. And uh, not every reading is for you. So take what resonates and leave the rest. We're just going to see what comes up for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That one came a rolling out. What do we have for Pisces? What kind of message do they need to hear? I guess that wants to be said. Wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. Vine. Seek out information that will help you. This is one that came out. Ooh. Younger man. Looks like a woman to me. I've talked about this before, but anyhow. Younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. There could be a younger man that's coming in between you and something that you want. Could be. Could be Scorpio. I don't know. Uh, because Scorpio, I, uh, Scorpio had, I don't know why I said that. For some reason it came out of my mouth. They might have had younger woman or I don't know what they had. But for some reason I said Scorpio. Anyhow, um... <laughs> Seek out information that will help you. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. So. Something is coming in between you and something that you want. You need to investigate. You need to investigate. This is somebody that is younger than you. Okay? Take it at that. What do we have for Pisces? There is information out there that can help you, but you will have to go find it. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to do it. Chariot. Chariot is about moving forward. Archangel Metatron. There we go. Determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. People see your success. Your success is evident, okay? Chariot is about moving as well. It could be packing up and leaving. It's movement. It's fast forward movement. So this is dealing with opposition, replacing fear with faith, moving very quickly towards the future. It's leaving something behind. I do see you mastering your emotions and being in control, taking the lead, being in the driver's seat, being the boss, you know? I, I do feel as though you are... Uh, heading in the right direction towards success. This week you may be, be making a move of some sort. Um, I do see strong determination and willpower that is going to lead you towards success. I mean, that's what this is. It's, it's you will be successful because of your strong determination to succeed. Okay? This is victory. It's victory in some sort of situation. Career advancement, maybe it's your career. This is driving towards success. So you're going to be driving towards success. King of Wands, reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Could be anybody. Doesn't really matter. But this is lack of confidence. This is controlling energy. It's uh, angry. It's lack of vision, lack of desire, lack of passion. Um, hmm. King of Wands reverse. This is this is unrealistic, self-centered, egotistical individual. <laughs> I don't know who this person is. King of Wands reverse. This is somebody that is like I just said. Uh, hmm. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Now Seven of Swords is deception. Is deception. Somebody could be escaping. They could be sneaking away. Somebody may, may be sneaking away. They could be, you know, because this is like getting out. It's getting out quick when, you know, 
making an escape. So I'm not sure if somebody is making an escape. We could have somebody here that is ill even. This is, it could be poor health, unhealthy. Um, this is making a move, taking the high road. Now this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be you. You could be dealing with somebody that is unrealistic. Like I said, self-centered, angry, you know, negative, negative Nelly or, or well, that's a man, so I don't know who it is. It could be a man or a woman. Anyway, we have somebody here that is, is a very healthy in some way. They're bossy, too. Very bossy and controlling. And there's a need to take control. You need to take control of a situation. Or somebody does with that chariot. That's about taking the reins, you know. Um, hmm. Ooh, Ace of Cups reverse. So that's emotion, drowning in emotions. It's emotional uh, dishonesty, emotional discomfort. It could be heartache. It could be heartache. There's some sort of sadness here. Uh, lack of emotional support. Lack of emotional content. Angry. I feel like you have, or angry, or somebody just can't master their emotions. But I feel like you're going to be mastering yours. Which is interesting. I think you're dealing with somebody else that is egotistical. And for some reason, I, I mean, I, I, I don't feel like it's you. I don't. I feel like it's somebody that you're dealing with that is very, very controlling. That is manipulative. Uh, hmm. Now, the Ace of Cups has tears. It's tears. It's sadness. But this is unrealistic. So somebody's been unrealistic, obviously. But now they're moving in a new direction. So that's somebody's moving, I feel like, or, or something like that. Um, Definitely taking the reins, taking charge, taking the lead. Now, this is the death of a situation. It's the death of a person or idea. It is. This is fed up, exhausted, tired. Uh, obviously, there's some sort of pain here because of the Three of Swords. It could be heart pain, heartache, not ex taking the truth, not accepting the truth, not speaking the truth. Because the Ace of Swords is down here. It's not, it's not. Somebody may not be accepting the truth. There's some sort of pain here. I'm not sure if it's heart pain or sadness, grieving, whatever. I do feel like there's something that is coming to an end. It's the end of pain. There is Somebody's been in pain. It's, this is the end of pain. Okay. There's a loss of power here as well. Somebody's losing their power. They're losing their drive. They're losing their ambition. They're losing their desire to uh, engage, whatever that means. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. When the Queen of Pentacles is stable, solid, secure, and nurturing, hardworking, devoted. Uh, this is a caregiver. So we have somebody here that has an opportunity for success right in their hands. The Queen of Pentacles, she's got that, she got the gold, right? I mean, Queen of Pentacles, she's got a golden opportunity. She's got stability, security. So we have somebody here that is going to be holding on to something or they have something of value. Somebody has something of value. And it feels like they're waiting. They're not, they're holding on to it. They're not giving it to anybody. They're not giving it to anybody just yet. Just yet. But it appears there's a younger person around. But anyway, you've got somebody here that is holding on to something. Um, but there's a lack of emotional fulfillment. And I think that there's, I feel like there's also some fear here with the King of Wands reverse. That's fear. Fear of, of losing something. Oh, well, that's probably going to happen. Anyhow, um, I do feel like there is going to be a loss. We have somebody here that is very, very stable, secure, and valuable, you know, that is exhausted and fed up and has been heartbroken by the looks of things. And there is somebody that is coming very, very quickly because of that chariot card. That is an arrival of some sort. This is somebody arriving. It's an arrival. So there is an arrival here. There is definitely an arrival. Um, and there's going to be, I feel like there's tears being shed or there's going to be some tears shed. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. That is deception, betrayal, lies, lying. Somebody's been lying. And they've been hurting. And they've been in pain. And they've been hurting over their feelings. And they haven't been expressing their feelings because they're self-centered and conceited. But this Queen of Pentacles is very loyal, faithful, uh, hardworking, has a lot to offer. <laughs> She's holding on to her own by the looks of things. Justice. 
justice. Somebody's going to get exactly what they deserve. Balance. Okay, justice is balance. It's integrity. It's everything turning out as it should. A fair and just decision being made. Be Somebody's about to make a decision based on the truth, based on the facts. There is some sort of decision that is about to be made. Could be dealing with a Libra. Um, it could be dealing with court. There could be a court ruling made that is this week. We do have somebody here that is going to be, yeah, that is stable. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is, Queen of Pentacles is stable. So it's going to go in this person's favor. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is that has stability and security and is devoted and nurturing and has a lot to offer, is the decision is going to go in this person's favor. Anyhow, this is the death of a situation where there has been a lot of trials. There has been a lot of deception. There has been a lot of lies. And there's been ego in the way. This is a final decision. It is sad because of that eight, that Queen of Pentacles may be letting go of sadness because you notice the Ace of Cups in reverse is behind her. That's letting go of sadness. It is. I know my value. So somebody may be making a decision. They are making a decision. A decision is definitely being made. And somebody is has a lot to offer here. And they're gonna be, and somebody's arriving. We have an arrival here. May have something to do with a car? Or a vehicle? And then there's anger. We have somebody being angry over an arrival or angry over, a, well, chariot is moving. So I mean, I just, I gotta say it. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. You know, somebody may be angry over somebody moving um, or upset and they can't express their feelings. They can't because of their ego. <laughs> That's what's happening, too. That's okay. Anyhow, we have somebody here that knows their value and is about to get exactly what they deserve. So, a lot of lies, though. Somebody may even be lying to court or lying to the blah. This is karma, though. This is the end of a trial. It is. It's the end. It's, so, something is ending, definitely. There's been obviously been a escape. I mean, that's an escape when nobody's looking. That's the truth too. So anyhow, um, and now there's sadness. Mm -hmm. Ooh, King of Cups, expressing feelings. Now that could be you, could be somebody else. We definitely have somebody, I mentioned Scorpio earlier now, didn't I? Anyway, we do have somebody, and I don't know if it's a Scorpio, but anyhow, could be dealing with Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be dealing with Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, could be anybody, this even could be you. This is somebody that is uh, emotionally available. This is somebody that is going to be expressing their feelings. They're gonna be expressing their love. They're gonna be following their heart. And they're turning their back on a sad situation to go after love. It's all about love. And that's exactly what this is. It's all about love. And I feel like we have somebody that has been in a loveless situation. And it's all about love. Okay? It's not, a, it's not about uh, ego. I mean, it's not about things. It's about love. Anyhow, King of Cups is, is about is somebody that reacts to their feelings and is looking for love, looking for a relationship. And it feels like they have somebody stable, solid, secure, hardworking, uh, real, real. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is real. That they are going to be, um, it feels like matching up with, because there's two sides here and there's two people. So we definitely have a matchup. I feel like there's a matchup here. Decision is being made to travel in a new direction towards love by the looks of things. Anyhow, um, it is going to be emotional because of that Ace of Cups reverse. I think it's going to be emotional. Somebody's going to be following their gut. They're going to be following their intuition. They're going to be making a decision, decision based on stability and feelings, heart, love. So there is going to be a decision that is made this week. Uh, this is the end of of 
heartache by the looks of things because of that four of swords. There's been heartache, there has been pain, but I do feel like it is coming to an end. Good luck.